thank you, Thomas, for this request of your setting. It's lovely to have a composer make the request of Victor Hugo. Victor is, Hugo. Hugo. This is a slightly dark mm. living room request. It is. such a marvelously moody setting that uh, that uh, Thomas has managed for that that we thought we'd get moody with it that. seems like that and here's the setting sun yes in case anyone was in it's any made out of confusion salt. Let's salty take a sun no no less smiley but uh, yeah <laughs> yeah um, I thought the effective use I think 75% of the Pedal. way through yeah because that's yeah. what the sun's like when it goes to sleep isn't it it just moody as anything it's got that sort of it's got that it's got that uh, what's the word fixture the inevitability of it we know whatever we do it's gonna it's just gonna keep coming back isn't it it's gonna go down and the, also the inevitability of that was great Yes. Now, for those keen watchers, you will notice that I said we're going to have to bin, um, trash the contra guitar not too long. I was not entirely exaggerating, but it's got a little bit more um, spring in its step because I've just tuned it lower. So there's a lot less tension on the wood. We may tune it lower still. <gasps> Yes, now might... it's it's basically it's 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 now a baroque instrument. It is. It's literally a theorbo now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dressed up as. Uh, well, yeah. We've got the mic at the top, so I don't know whether it's that noticeable. But um, so that was um, that was that was Thomas's. T this is uh, the previous one of of his um, oh. is the um, setting of Emily Bronte, Fall Leaves Fall which we did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we
and we said, wait for the Victor Hugo. Victor, why am I having a problem with his name? Victor, Victor Hugo. Because you have to go. Uh, Victor uh, Hugo. In the middle. Yeah. You know, engage the uvula, basically. Engage the uvula. Series of merch, you can imagine. Uh, yeah. So Victor Hugo. Um, I've recorded another setting of his. Bizet. Bizet's setting of 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 Hugo. Um, the uh, the the farewell of the Arab hostess is wonderful. Mm. So my first ever recording called Le Charme, which I have a few copies left of. You can buy it in Real the link archival stuff in the description. Out of print. Click view Needless more or the little uh, show more or the little arrow, depending on what device you're on, and you can see links. Um, go over to my channel, which is linked in the description. <gasps> yes, he's Matt Redman the... nine eight. Linked in the description. It's not because um, he was and, born that uh, year. It's because that was when he got his email. So and, and you his can, YouTube. yeah. So you can see videos of me playing the heart guitar on there recently. He started to upload and, stuff. Uh, Hurrah! So I uploaded that for the chap who made the heart guitar. This is a contra. It wasn't for him. It was for the guy who made it. So go over there if you haven't done already. Yeah, a few of you have. Or just search for Matt Redman great. heart guitar. You'll find it. No, this is great. Yeah. So thank you, Thomas. And um, yeah, Thomas has a website and he has a YouTube channel where you can see, and I'll even link below because this has already been recorded on piano, but Thomas, he first started um, with a guitar when he was young, uh, a, a little boy, I guess. Um, he started by playing the guitar. So he was very curious to hear what his well, that's what piece happened. would sound like. Um, yeah. That's what happened. Still, he got, still working. He I, got more than a guitar. Particularly the lower... I, I guess that's why people eventually just take the lower strings off because they know that's what's ruining it. You know what I mean? Oh, the, the tension. tension on like the bottom yeah. four or five yeah, is, is more than you know, six or seven of those. For a piece of wood, especially a piece of pine to sustain. That kind of that's tension. True. Anyway, that's enough, Anyway, Trisha. that's all that. Um, yes. Uh, so, so yeah, Thomas Flesson Kemper, Kemper. I always want to put an F in there. Thomas Flessenkemper, um, with whom I've worked actually, wonderful doing some Amy Woodford Finden uh, for her first ever festival that he completely helmed and did. It was amazing, really great. If you're a Patreon, you will have been able to have access to all of those, um, that festival that I did, pretty much all, um, which hasn't gone out publicly because poor Thomas had to play this <laughs> this electronic piano, which he feels doesn't do so difficult either sometimes. Amy or himself. <laughs> so difficult sometimes. The justice, but if, it's there. I'd just like to say, if you'd like to links. make a living room request, please go to patriciahammond.com forward slash request yeah. or click in the link in the description. You can be a composer or you can just be somebody who likes a composer. You can, can just can do either or a popular song. Yeah. You'll see the list uh, up to date of what we've done so far. This one's anyway, very sort of gothy, have very a great sunset. Halloween. Have a great end of October, November, December, January, February. Songbird we'll see you soon. poem. Yes. Thank you so much, Thanks. Thomas. Bye. <laughs>